Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is going to be a DIY video creating gift items using Mary Kay products. So if you're an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay, today's video will be really helpful for you. I'm going to be sharing some creative ways that you can make Mother's Day gifts. Mother's Day is right around the corner and it's not too late to bundle up your products so that you can be able to provide gift baskets or gift ideas for your customers. Now if you're like me and you're more of a personal use consultant and you just happen to have some products on hand or maybe you're no longer a consultant and you have products on hand and you want to be a blessing to some moms that you know for Mother's Day or if you have some other special holidays coming up, this is a great way for those products to not go to waste. You can always gift them and give them. All right, this video will also be helpful if you sell Avon or if you're just looking to create DIY gift baskets using other products that you may source from Sephora, the Dollar Tree, or other places like that. So let's get into today's video, but first things first, if you're new here, hey, welcome. My name is Coach D and I love all things planning. Here on my channel, I share pieces of my life with the hope of helping you to balance, grow, and succeed in yours. So if you're planning for gift giving, here are some great ways for you to prepare some really beautiful gifts that um, leverage the products that you perhaps have on hand. So the first thing that I'm gonna share, I do have kind of my materials in front of me. So I will start with something that's really, really easy. So this is the new TimeWise Miracle Set 3D. And I have this on hand. This is something that I use for myself. I ordered an extra one just to have it available. So I can give this as a gift or prepare this for someone to purchase as a gift and I can do most of the work for them. And one of the real simple things that you can do, it does not require heavy lifting, but if someone already enjoys these products or if you have a gift bag with other products, you can accent it with a floral decoration. And this flower is one that I purchased from Michaels. Most of the products that I will be using throughout the video are from Michaels as well. So you can put the flower in the bag and it's really simple. It's a low cost add-in so that you're mindful of your profit margin should you choose to um, sell this to someone looking to make a purchase, but it's really cute. It just adds a simple touch that um, will make someone smile if they receive this. It's just a cute little accent. Or if you are a consultant and you sell your TimeWise Miracle Sets in the bundle, the bag comes with your order, at least it did when I made this purchase. I'm not sure if things have changed. I haven't been out on the portal in a long time, but nonetheless, you can use the bag. You keep the materials in the bag that comes with the TimeWise Miracle Set. So it is the kind of instruction booklet. Keep that in the bag for the recipient. And it also kind of provides a back screen so you can present it this way or you can present it with the product showing at the front. So either way, it's just a simple touch to add something special to the packaging that's already available to you. All right, so that's option number one. Option number two is to leverage gift boxes. So I will put this to the side. So I added this gift box to an order. It was on sale in, um, I believe, Section two is what it's called at the time that I purchased it. So it was um, a little bit discounted on the website. It was well after Christmas, but this was a part of the holiday gift giving. So it does say Merry Christmas on the inside, but I'm not going to take it off for the purposes of this video just because I don't want to, well, you can. but you can lift this up and remove the Merry Christmas sentiments or the holiday sentiments. I don't think it says Merry Christmas. It just says festive, joyful, um, festivo, giving, bright. You could leave it. I mean, it doesn't really, uh, whether it says Merry. But anywho, so you can lift it up and just cut it off and remove it and it does not damage the box. Or, you know, if you have a box that's, you know, not seasonal, 
you can leverage it as well. So one way is to put your items in the box and to leverage it that way. So you would fold up the box and package your products that way. And I am not folding this well, or I think I may have broken it. So I will just repurpose that and you would fold up your box and tuck it in. And for this, I would need to tuck the sides in or tape them down to the side. I'm not gonna go through that on camera, but this is option number two, and that is a viable option for you to use. I'm gonna leave the box open. All right. If you don't have those gift boxes, any gift box from like the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar Store, Walmart, Target would be sufficient to put your products in. Oh, in terms of the products, I just bundled them up based on what I had. So I went with the charcoal mask. I went with the CC cream and the moisturizer. So this will be a good mix, something that kind of goes together. So your face mask or cleanser or um, something to use. This is your moisturizer. Oops, drop this up. Your moisturizer and then the CC cream. So you can bundle up products that go together. I wouldn't say put random things in the gift box. We try to keep it organized in a way that when it is presented to the individual, the products make sense for them to have together if it's not an entire set. So that is one. The other thing that I will share, and we can make this on camera, is to use the perfumes or the fragrance. This is the Forever Diamond. It does come with a beautiful box. And I used some chain, so it's this kind of crystals chain that I picked up from Michaels. So it is just kind of the faux diamond chain. And on the spoolie, it is just called chain. <laughs> I picked it up where you can find the jewelry um, making items in Michaels and I use my hot glue gun y'all excuse my hot glue gun it is well used and I just hot glued the diamond chains around the lid so when I took the lid off I hot glued just the chain around the top so it's just a little extra accent um, to the packaging and this is the forever diamond fragrance to present it, I have just some plastic bags. I believe these probably came from Michaels. They're a little bit of a heavier weight. Typically, you can get a glue dot and put it onto the bottom of the box so it adheres to the bottom of the bag and it doesn't move around as much. So that's a tip for you. When I was more active selling Mary Kay, I really enjoyed um, watching the DIY videos here on YouTube. And I think I have a Christmas gift idea from many, many years ago. This is not something I do now and with the products that I'm putting together in these bundles, they will be gifts that I, um, bless people with so I'm just oops, I keep dropping stuff to today so anyway I'm just using some ribbon and again if you put the glue dot on the bottom of this it'll help keep the bag a little bit more even so that we're not tipping it over but this is just some ribbon I picked up at Michael's I believe it was on sale so I start to tie it onto the packaging
So you can stop there and just put a cute ribbon on it. And again, you can see the diamond chain or the chain, make sure that stays. Or you could also add another piece of chain just to the bag on the outside as well to really just kind of drive home the use of the chain. And you can fix your ribbon. When you're cutting ribbon, make sure that you have a really um, sharp and nice pair of scissors. My scissors are not all that sharp. Just to make the bow even, a little even. So there you go. That's an option for just some cute packaging that you can incorporate into a Mother's Day presentation. You could also probably use shrink wrap. I don't think shrink wrap is necessary for a, a product this, this size. And then the accents, the extra, it doesn't cost you a lot because when you are bundling these items or preparing them to present as gifts or gift baskets, you want to be mindful of the cost for your add-on. So the flower, again, came from Michael's, not a huge expense. The ribbon and the chain, the chain can be used for multiple gifts. So if you have the Forever Diamonds, uh, maybe five or so, when you want to sell them, you can use the chain. You'll probably get, I mean, you could get a couple of wraps out of this. So that's an option for you to use. Also going to share another presentation that you can prepare so this is a picture frame it's four by six I did keep picture frames on hand because they're just cute ways to put sentiments into a frame and the person using it can hang it on their wall put it on their desk or use it however they see fit but it just says you're such a sweet presence in so many lives and actually, guys, in all transparency, this was a old American greeting card that I had on hand that I thought was really cute. So I just used it for demo purposes here today and put it into a picture frame. You can type up your own sentiments to use for the picture frame or the person that you're giving it to. You can make it a little bit more customizable. But this is the Mint Bliss Energizing Foot Lotion. The pink bottles of lotion will look really pretty here as well, but you can just place it down onto the picture frame. You could affix it with a glue dot so that it stays. I didn't grab my glue dots for today's DIY demo, but I'm using a ribbon. Again, just something I purchased from Michaels and you would tie the lotion or the product to the picture frame using a ribbon and I just have this ribbon on hand. The glue dot will keep it from moving. Let's see if I can get it started. All right. Make sure the ribbon is even on either side. Put your glue dot down. Tighten up your ribbon and then tie your bow. If you have a messy bow, if you're not good tying bows, you're more messy when it comes to tying bows, it's okay. Fluff them up. Sometimes you won't even be able to tell that the bow tying skills were not all that well. If you just let it kind of go with its own free flowing form. You could also get a bigger bag to put it in to just kind of help keep everything together, but you would put a bow tied to the picture frame. It has a really beautiful message on the bottom. 
and then it has the product attached to it because this was a photo frame that I purchased probably from either Michaels or a Dollar Tree dollar store, something like that. It keeps the cost down again. This is a, also another DIY Mother's Day gift that you can make using any product of your choosing and tie it to a really beautiful picture frame that has a message on it. Okay, so moving along, I do have some other ideas that I can share with you in terms of preparing your products. This is another box that just simply has a bow on it. It came as a set with the previous box and you can fold it up. This is the right size for lip glosses and things of that nature. Or I did grab the foundation. So if you know the mom's shade, you can slip that in there. You would, you know, tie down the box, tie it down. You'd interlock the bows and it is nicely packaged. So I'm not gonna tie down the box just because um, this particular item is not going to be gifted. I believe it is my foundation shade, so. This is one option for you. So make sure that you are leveraging the boxes that are available. So that is one. The next is going to be something really simple. Let me put this over here. Just show off the bows. Again, these bags are your best friend if you are packaging products. Similarly, pear-like products. So this is the eyeshadow primer. This is the lip gloss. Uh, oh, oh no, this is what this is for. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover and the eyeshadow primer. So in your bags, you can choose to take the product out of the packaging or not. Now I know um, these days with, you know, kind of people handling your, your products and things that you'll ultimately um, you know, put on your face, you may want to leave it in, in the box. Now, different times may call for different options, but for some of the products, it may be best to allow them to remain in, in the box. When you are preparing your bag, again, just add a glue dot to the bottom of the box. will help it to keep from moving. But for demo purposes, I have my string and I will just make sure it ties into a nice bunch. I'll help the plastic along to form into a bunch that will give it room, but also helps to keep the products stable. So the bow is tied nice and tight, and then I'll pull it. So that they hang and then you can just move the bow around so that it it forms how you would like it to loosen it up tighten it again get them a little even if you notice maybe you're uneven more uneven on one side than another sometimes I would just tie them sideways and maybe add something here to hold it as well you could also get the wire pieces that come with the bags and put it around there first and then tie the bow. That will make things a little bit easier. But that's a way that you can package it. Oftentimes you'll see um, maybe people put shred down at the bottom of the bags. That's an option. I do think the clear or the iridescent shred looks a little bit better than having like the paper shred in the box. You still wanna keep the products nice 
and elegant looking um, as opposed to maybe using some of the colorful paper shred unless it's more of a, a teen gift. But for Mother's Day, I think just having some iridescent shred at the bottom would, would be helpful. You can also tie the bow with the chain as well if you're looking to add something a little special to it. That bow is gonna, you know, irk me a little bit, y'all. I was a cheerleader growing up and I could always tie nice bows. Even when I coached cheerleading um, just a few short years ago, I could tie a really nice bow as well. But my bow tying skills are slipping, y'all. So, oh, there we go. That's better. It works best if you loop it a certain way. There we go. All right, so that's an option. And then just a few other things that I pulled. If you want to bundle kind of some face cream, you can bundle it with other products, keep them similar. You can put them in a box or a bag and present them that way. Or you can maybe bundle the beauty tools together in a really nice bag and present them. Or you can put them in a box and present them that way. So these are just a few extra items that you can get the idea from. I did also purchase this color um, ribbon that I think is really beautiful. So let's add this. I forgot I had it. But you can layer your ribbons. Let's see how this looks. I don't wanna go overboard and make it overbearing. Yeah, that may not work too well. But that's an option to layer your ribbons. One thing I will say doesn't look as well put together is to put a bowl just around the box and present it um, in the box with the bowl. Put it in a bag, put some iridescent shred in the bag along with it and present it that way as opposed to simply putting the putting the bow onto the box. So you can always get creative with the ribbon, toy around with it so it lays properly. If you're packaging this in to a mailer, make sure that it is a bubble, bubble mailer. You don't want the products getting crushed in shipment. So if you use a bubble mailer, then you can get your bow situated slide it into the mailer and then seal it up. Make sure that you have the bubbles around it or some extra tissue paper. If you have tissue paper on hand to help protect the products in shipment, just so that they're not spilling out all over the place when you are shipping them off. So these are the items that we created today that I think will be absolutely beautiful for Mother's Day. And they're really simple DIY items for you. So just packaging perhaps two similar items that people can use. This one has a lip gloss and an eyeshadow primer. You can always swap out the lip gloss for a mascara. Those two items go together or like a primer and a, a pod with eyeshadows. This, this is probably my favorite that we've made here today is the Forever Diamonds cute bundle. Again, I think some iridescent shred will just really take it over the top and make it really beautiful for the recipient. And then again, just using the boxes that oftentimes come as items with Mary Kay or you can use, they're pretty simple to put together. I was just being lazy y'all, so let me do that. So put your box together interlock all of your pieces. They're interlocking boxes, 
so that you don't have to fuss or worry about tape. So that's an option. And then once again, packaging your items with a nice, beautiful accent. So these are your options. I'll turn this box this way just because I didn't fold it down the right way. But these are your options for some really cute DIY bundling and packaging ideas to use your Mary Kay pro products. Leave me a comment. Let me know, do you enjoy making DIY gifts? I think they add a special touch for the recipient to feel special. Thanks for watching this video. Also hit subscribe. I would love to welcome you to my YouTube family. And once again, give me a thumbs up. Does it cost you anything? And it really helps me out as I grow my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye for now.